Happy holidays, guys. During this time of year, I always think it's wise to take a second to look back and remember the games of Christmas past before we make way for the games of Christmas present. And yes, I mean the games that we are given as presents. We all have those games that we got or were playing around the holidays, and no matter how good or bad those games were, we have some really special memories with them. Something about the time of year makes even basic and normal games, or even neighborhood games, into unforgettable times. Whatever it is, something about the memories we have around that time and the memories of the games we play is just unique and unforgettable. Me, personally, I think it has something to do with the lighting. You know when you wake up in the morning during winter and the reflective snow makes the sun light up your ceiling? Yes, that is what I call magic Christmas lighting. It just brings in some holiday hype. Anyway, one of those special holiday games for me was Mario & Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Actually, it was two of those games, as I got the DS version of the game a while back and then got the Wii version a few years later. The DS version is actually not only better, but it's a pretty darn good game overall. But we're looking at the Wii version because, let's be honest, split-screen multiplayer makes everything more fun. Unless nobody will play with you because you have a terrible, uh, Christmas flu. A situation I know all too well around Christmas time. So Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Yeah, what is up with the title? I mean, it's informative, I'll give it that, but it's also a bit... unnecessary? I mean, if I'm really thinking about it, I can't think of anything much shorter that would still fit the game, but it's kind of like with Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing, they just put Mario and Sonic's name in the title because anything with Mario and Sonic will sell. And they go and make it even longer in the sequels, like adding which country it takes place in or what year it takes place in. Next thing you know, they'll have Mario and Sonic at the 2016 Mexico Olympic Winter Games and other family-friendly activities featuring Danica Patrick and Banjo-Kazooie. I would not be surprised. And yes, they have Olympic Winter Games in Mexico, I'm sure. This Mario Party-style crossover is filled with, you guessed it, minigames. The minigames come in the form of various Winter Olympic events, such as downhill skiing, snowboarding, and... S snowball fights? Why didn't I know this was an Olympic event? I would have been trying to get into the underaged Olympic teams the moment I saw that I was able to pick up a snowball. So this game has plenty of basic events, but in addition, it has the dream events, fictional events that range from possible to... Well, we're flying skis in space, I think you know what the range is. I guess the fact that they're called dream events is supposed to indicate that they're all just a dream, maybe? I mean, the whole game could be a dream. There's an excuse for why Mario and Sonic are in the same universe. What's this? Time for a break? Okay, I can stop playing if that's what you want. I, okay, goodbye. Merry Christmas. This is what you wanted. So the dream events are pretty awesome, though. Most of them are themed after Mario and Sonic games and have original music from them as well. You can actually buy all the music in the in-game store, where you can customize your gear, buy games, and learn about Olympic history and trivia. Yeah, my favorite thing to do in video games. Learn and read. You can also just look around and interact with other characters hanging around in the village. Most of the time, they are not in the mood to talk, though. Whoa, <laughs> slow down there, Vector. Your house on fire? What's the rush? No! It's mine! Yes, Eggman, it is yours. I, what does that even mean? Uh, hey, Mario, how's it going, man? I feel, oh, oh, you're in a hurry. Okay, I, okay, I'll just walk alone. The normal games themselves can be fun, too, but not nearly as stimulating as the dream events. Oh, Eggman. I didn't think I'd ever see the day that your grace and agility would shine through. This is actually kind of gross. This needs someone a little more... fabulous. You know who would fit? Silver! Yes, this is good. This fits him so well. Yes, this is beauty at its finest. Back to the dream events! Yeah, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Check this out. Oops, 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 oh, Sil oh, Silver, you okay? I was just messing with you, it's just a snowball. Suck it up. You lose! Well, I know I lose, you, you don't have to be so excited about it, narrator guy. It's not my fault Silver can't throw to save his life. <laughs> hey guys, look! We're gonna go play hockey at the one and only Canada Hockey Place! I never thought my career would get this far. Whoosh. Do you hear that sound? That's what the depths of the fiery abyss sound like. Now, minigames are the heart and soul of this game, but the main campaign mode is the body. Or so that was really dumb. In this mode, you can create your own Olympic team or just go solo to win various events. For some reason, either Toad or Cream will be your team manager or something. And can, can I just say that that's not really the best idea? 
I mean, Cream, you're great, but you're also six, for goodness sake. And Toad, you're a fungus. I don't want a fungus to manage my team. Every once in a while, a random NPC will challenge us to a battle, but come on, guys, we're in the stinking Olympics. We don't have time for random challenges. Also, where are you, Omega? Is that like heaven on a stormy day? It does not look safe. Ah, so today we have some training to do. Let's just jump right in. Oh, wait, so I can train for the training? Can I train for the training before the training just to be extra safe? Training failed! What, training failed? I'm no Olympic expert, but I'm pretty sure if you call what you're doing training, then your goal is automatically set to simply practice or train. I did both of those. How did I fail? It's time for ski jumping. This is your time, Tails. You've been training for this your whole life. Swing the remote. Use the boost. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Toad isn't going to be happy about that. More dream events! Wow, look at the colors and the bubbles and the spunky music. Are we in another world? It's beautiful. Did Toad drug us? You also get the fun feature of using your own me in any events. And of course, as a dork, I must take advantage of this and give you th this wonderful imagery you're seeing. Yes, you are seeing a butt figure skating. Isn't it beautiful? Such fun memories and gaming sessions to be had with this game. I hope Mario Sonic at the 2014 Sochi Olympic Winter Games will be plenty of fun and have plenty of new content, as I'm sure I'll get that soon enough. Darn that title, though. I mean, scratch what I said earlier about what the next Winter Game title will be. That was not long enough. It has to at least be something to the extent of Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog at the 2016 December Early Winter Olympic Games and Sports U featuring Master Chief Soldier 2 from Call of Duty World at War and endorsed by Adam Levine, Director Cut Battle Edition X for the upcoming Nintendo DS, XL, Box, Cube, Station, Slim, Expanded, Hard Drive, Console 1, 720. Featuring Silver!